It was a long time I wanted to actually do some grafting. My mother used to do a lot of grafting. Uh, she did with a mulberry, white mulberry, and uh, King James mulberry. And she actually did with the grafting of a lemon and uh, uh, orange trees. We had a tree which had uh, one branch of it was orange, the other one was lemon. And uh, large lemons, you don't have it in the UK, those ones are only grown in Persia. And uh, in winter we had to cover it and uh, we, we used to cover it with the plastic sheets. So anyway, there is a history of grafting in our family. And my mother was doing it and I've seen how she was doing it. Uh, she had green fingers and I hope that I have that green finger. I tried to get the equipment gradually for this. I got the, I ordered some opinal knives from the opinal in France. And today I noticed they've arrived. I already have opened it. Uh, I didn't open, I opened the package only. I have not opened the actual thing. So I will just go now to see what is it. <clears throat> I ordered originally three knives. And... Uh, Okay, uh, this is the open knife knife uh, Savoy, France, and this is one of the knives. Of, of course, Opinol is after the name of the person, Opinol, and they are in business since 1890. Uh, the other uh, three of these knives here. Oh, the other one is this, which I think should be Opinol number... Open the knife number 12. I wanted a big knife just for the general work in the allotment and doing the mundane and the ordinary things that I have to do. And if I want to do anything beyond that, with, the, for example, calling some chickens or so, I may be able to do with this. And, <coughs> there must be another one here. Oh yeah, this is a quite a smaller one. Okay, so this must be, I think, this is the number six of, you know. This is number six, this is number 12, so double the size. And uh, this is number eight. So I will open them one by one and look how it is. Actually, I found that there is no need for opening, Just, uh, just this just pops in. Like this Japanese packaging, very nice and comfortable. Okay, this is the number six knife. Okay, I'm trying to open it. I have to be very careful. This is knife. Okay, this is the opinal number six. Just want you to see the how thin is the blade. That's the opinion number six. Uh, I wanted this one because it has a safety ring. This ring, you turn it around and the knife cannot be pushed. I have seen knives in the past, I've used knives in the past, that when you uh, want to work with them, if there are these foldy ones, the knife comes like that and then cuts your own hand. So it's good to have something which is different. So this is, this is the knife that I will use for crafting and the thin branches, science. It's quite thin. Okay, uh, I'm now going to open the second one, which I think is open on number eight. As you see, you just press the bottom and it comes off. I need two hands, so I will open it with my other hand. Okay, this is the number eight one. Um, I must say that I was not hoping that they have, uh, I couldn't find the, one of these must be actually the, um, the one with the um, walnut handle. So I will, I will just check first. Okay, the number eight is actually made, uh, the wooden ha handle is made of uh, walnut. Um, I didn't mind to get the beach Beechwood, but uh, they didn't have that. It seems everybody was buying this for Christmas, as a Christmas gift. 
So I had to buy the walnut, which was about two euros more price here. So this is a good knife. Of course, I think it's a bit too big for doing the grafting uh, of a small branches, science and such things. Uh, but anyway, we will see how, how we can use it. Uh, the blades, all the blades I have uh, chosen are uh, steel, stainless steel sandwich, uh, Swedish uh, stainless steel. And uh, they don't need uh, oiling. But sharpening them is a bit difficult, but anyway, I've, I've bought one of those also Japanese uh, uh, water stones for sharpening them. So this is the uh, number six, this is the number eight, and I will open this one also, just this one and this one, I think. This one is birch wood, and this one must be also, yeah, this one is also walnut. I like walnut actually, that's uh, that's one of the best things. Okay, this is the number 12. Quite a uh, right size for holding in a hand. And the blade is quite thin. If I can focus on this. It's very thin. As I told Sandwick, uh, Stainless steel, Swedish steel. This is the number eight. And this is the number six, which I think this one is the right size for doing the rare science of the apple and other trees. I must practice with this because it's a long time I've not done this. Uh, doing the grafting. And, uh, but anyway, I will get some old wood and just practice on them. This is quite large, actually. Huh. For for hand is already the handle is large. The blade is not very big, but uh, anyway, is the is impressive. And it's thin, quite thin. Normal lives have a different shape of the thing. It just taper comes near the edge. But this one seems all true, it is just tapered. And the coat of arm of Opinel seems as a hand holding a crown with a pointing finger. Um, after this, I'm just waiting for the rootstock arrive and then water stone, uh, Japanese white water stone, which I've ordered, and uh, wait to use them. Then, of course, in the spring, I will start to do the grafting. I've ordered some pairs, rootstock, Queens A, and some M, uh, M106. Apple rootstock, so I will try. I have also one uh, rootstock of a uh, apricot. The apricot died, and the rootstock of it was grew. So I may just try to on that rootstock uh, graft some uh, peach. Anyway, I like the safety feature of this, which is which is this ring. You turn it around. And uh, it it makes the blade unmovable, like this. It's quite impressive. It's a nice tool. Um, you can fillet the fish or remove the scales, actually, even. Mm. You'll see how much it lasts. How long it lasts. 